Oh, wow. That's so good. We have the highest GDP in the world. Oh, we can do everything. We're so powerful. This is going to be great. Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill, and I will be uniting India. The yoke of British tyranny is just too much to bear at GameStart and Vicky3, so I want to set it to rights. Thankfully, in the recent patch, it is easier than ever because the East India Company will automatically release all of India if Great Britain ever stops supporting them. So, while I do some painful country switching, why not subscribe for a lot more Vicky3 content and leave in the comments a suggestion for another stupid challenge that'll take me way, way too long to film and edit. Also, like the video, it really helps, please. Right, so I'll start as Great Britain and release the East India Company from their obligations and switch to my true nation, the Sikh Empire. We want to be grabbing all of this India stuff. East India Company will collapse very shortly, and we want this state right here, Delhi, 16 million people. Oh, it's going to be great. But in the meantime, we make our own industry. We'll focus on the fact that I've just put everybody in government, and we're still at 64. But this means that we can get away from serfdom. Oh my god, look at the tax collection difference. It's 86% tax inefficiency. I can immediately do this, and though it does cost me more, I'm going to get rid of so much tax inefficiency. We don't even have urban planning. Oh my god, I can't even do iron construction. We have so many troops, so we immediately go to artillery, start bigging that up and getting them ready. Because we are insanely strong with 100 regulars. All we gotta do is wait for India to collapse, and we can start our first attack. And just like that, India is broken apart. It could not keep it together. There we are. The East India Company has become Bengal, led by Roy. <laughs> and all of these countries have exploded. This means we can go crazy and gobbling all of them up, which we have to do immediately. Quick war to try to take Delhi because it has iron and it has 16 million population. They will almost certainly back away. That's okay. You've heard of streamer luck? How about reverse streamer luck? My Seagate hard drive crashed, so I lost all the footage that led up to 1843, but basically I conquered a lot of things. I conquered Sindh for the port, I vassalized Orissa, Baroda, and Adawade, I'm not gonna try and pronounce that. I also vassalized Afghanistan because I thought it would help the GDP. This has left me with an infamy of 91, so I need to chill out for a little bit. Now enjoy this sad reaction. Oh no, Nova Goa is an active treaty port. Look, that's so gross. We are gonna get a trade agreement with China to try to take advantage of their various goods. This instantly causes us to make money. All right, we're gonna get some landed voting together. This gives us, I think this is a good idea. Pomerania has been released from Prussia and Westphalia has formed. What is going on? in Europe, I ask you. We're gonna try and annex Orissa because I need that coal and I need the port. And Gwalia joins, so we'll vassalize them. Finally, we have the atmospheric engine after so long. Hopefully that'll fix our economy at least a little bit. All right, quickly vassalizing Kalat. Austria is trying to conquer the Peloponnese from Greece. And France has joined and is then demanding to vassalize Greece. Greece is being defended by Russia. This is World War One. Sweden owns a northern Portugal. I can't even with this game. I can't. I can't take it. And I used the opportunity with France busy with Russia to invade. Mysore has backed down. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay. Hello, Mysore to the economy. Britain is also trying to puppet Denmark. Oh, it just ended. Pfft. My vassals literally just fight all of my battles for me. This is brilliant thank you this is the second time i've seen this in 1.22 china has joined the russian market uh oh that's really really bad does that end all of my trade it does oh my god and at last i have become the greatest opium funny smoke substance ever dealer 800 opium oh i make so much money from this on a six percent chance we just passed wealth voting that is incredible. So good. Sweet protectionism. That is money in the bank. That is excellent. And now, unfortunately, I'm being boo-booed. America is attacking me with the U- Sorry, France attacking me with the US. Take a treaty port. Let's see if we can win. I did not realize that because I vassalized these guys, I actually have a border right here. Oh no. Let's see what happens. Okay. They have invaded. Here they are. Oh my god, two different naval invasions. 
please stop. All right, they've invaded and taken it, but, but if we're gonna hit them in the flanks, it's actually working, yes. Can we pen them in? We're gonna try and hit them with whatever we got with 154 units. Oh my God, he's dug in. That's so bad. 112, well, we're done. We're actually winning. We're just crushing their flanks. Look, this is incredible. Actually kicking their butts. Okay, I don't quite, I don't think this game quite understands how the manpower system works. I'm getting nine exhaustion loss because of available manpower. I have a ton of available manpower. What are you talking about? Okay, so I figured out why I'm suffering so much war loss, war support loss from casualties. Here's my list of servicemen. This is the biggest collection of servicemen I have, which is in Punjab. There's 45,000 of them. 43,000 of them are dependents. 43,000. There's only 2,000 servicemen working. Of the 45,000 soldiers from my central capital province, something like 3% of them can walk. Well, there we go. They just got a treaty port from us. So that's really bad. Ow. But we just got wrecked. Why do I have 137 English people who live in Punjab? Please explain this to me. 75% of them are dependents. What are we, prisoners? 280 English aristocrats and 137 officers. How did you get here? Okay, I think the AI might be broken. It's built 14 art academies in Pashut Pashtunistan that has hired nobody at all. And there is eight things of art. What are you doing? Here's the thing I've been waiting for all this time. Ah, bureaucracy. That still doesn't fix my economy. Okay, that doesn't help me. Why doesn't it help? Finally, paper bleaching. 240 more paper using the dyes that I already have. We're trying to vassalize Travancore and get money from Bengal and France has joined. Again. Oh my god, the French general Archimonde Pardon. Pardon you, you have blundered my chum. Oh, that's the stuff. They, they are actually losing. We are winning right now. Okay, the, I say that the French are actually wrecking me. But if we could just delete the enemies first, we'll win. Okay, the French have just been chucked at me. Bengal has given me war reps because it's all going to board. And, and Travancore has been vassalized. No way. Will this end the French? It will. This is going to give me everything. The treaty port, a recognition of war reps. How much money am I going to make from war reps? What am I supposed to do with these front lines? I ask you. Please. And the French have been cut off. Thank you, a billion vassals. Ah, oh, that's good. That's really nice. So, because France joined in in my vassalization of Travancore, they've been forced to recognize me, give up their treaty port, even though they already have another one, and give me war reps. How much money is that? That's 35k. Oh my god. So good. Excellent situation. We're 7k up. 1867. Got so much construction piling in. We, we're we good. All right, let's just focus on fixing the economy and I think maybe just get Hyderabad. There's some decent resources here. No more will people be forced to live and work only in one state. Oh yeah. We currently make 10k just from the export of opium. We are drug cartel. And that's the end of my war reps. And there it is. I swear, no reloading. But interventionism. Subsidies for all buildings. Government run for railways, which is fantastic. That's so good. All my iron and coal has tried to rebel. The peasants have just tried, just destroyed me. All right, we're going to have to just kind of quickly wipe across them and slap them to in, into a distance. Now, of course, we have to go around and fix the entirety of our economy, which is really fun. See what stupid things they did. Oh, good. They turned off all the mines. Great stuff, bro. The AI deleted universities I'd built. Why? How could you? Time to start colonizing. Let's go. Okay, this is this is mental. France is currently ruled by Ferdinand Philippe de Orleans. Italy has formed, and they are under Bourbon. A Bourbon, weirdly. And they're currently fighting a French secession. And the French secession, the uprising, is ruled by Louis d'Orléans. Like, that's the original leader. What? What's going on? The time has come. We're gonna move all of our boys over to skirmish infantry. Uses a lot of guns, but it's worth it. All right, we have pan nationalism. This gives us authority. We're gonna immediately go to breach loading artillery because we probably need it. Can't yet form India, but what we can... Oh, 
What? I can unify them for 180 infamy. I'm gonna make them a puppet instead. Let's do that. That's crazy. That's an insane amount of infamy. But let's go. This is gonna be bad, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, that's not so good. The British Republic has just sided with them. Uh, oh god. That's bad. That's really bad. Yes. The UK is also trying to conquer Bhutan. They're going to be too- Oh my god, Italy is also joined. No! The British Republic has ba abandoned Bengal. We are good. I was just getting ready to start raiding all the convoys. But, you know what? We might actually be okay here. There is some Italians, but we're going to be fine. Our first battle, we've launched 146 guys against their 68. And we're kicking their butts. We're doing great. Aggressive maneuver. Oh, huge casualties. That's not so great. Surprise maneuver. Yes. So this is really interesting. The Italians, for some reason, while they do have shrapnel artillery, they have line infantry. This means that I am actually winning because they've not given themselves skirmish infantry. Oh, goody. The Afghanistani forces have decided to head the attack with their useless troops. We've only... Well, they do have line infantry, but still... Oh, Italy's out. Italy's out. I'm in. Bye-bye. All right, Bengal was puppeted. They put up no fight at all. India left. Let's freaking go. Form India. This took so freaking long. Ready. Shebang. Oh, that's so... Oh, wow. That's so good. Maharaja Baba Singh. Oh, my God. We still have all of our infamy, obviously, but now we got to fix all of our ridiculously huge economy. We are still not high enough, but we have the... Do we have the highest... We have the highest GDP in the world. We've got to fix a lot of things right now, but with all of this stuff, we can we can go up with our education, our law enforcement. Oh, we can do everything. We're so powerful. This is going to be great. Just going to fix the rest of our economy. Oh, dear God. It does not incorporate. Why didn't it incorporate them? Oh, I have to spend so much points incorporating them. All right, we're going to let infamy go down a little bit and then see if people will stop blockading us. I've also only just realized it's annexed Afghanistan. What on earth? This is automatically annexed Afghanistan. That's brilliant. Oh my god, the amount of grain we can import from the British. What the hell? Why do they have so much grain? Look how many drugs we're selling to the Russians. A production of 104, 14k revenue. Let's make more. Let's get the world addicted over here. All right, I want, I want Sinai. Let's just take Sinai. Let's see if we can... Oh, wait, we don't have a navy. Oh, we have 51 flotillas, actually. Ooh, how many do they have? They got 20. Oh, here we go. Let's get some, let's get some boys. Finally, I've improved fertilizer, but now, more importantly, we can get shift work, which is going to add 20 more economy of scale building cap. That's going to massively increase our product. Oh, please. They have no troops here. Yes. Come on, baby. They only have two. Let's go. Do have anyone who's any good at aggressive combat? No, of course I don't. These guys have nothing. Their regular troops have an infantry focus, but they have line infantry, but their conscripts have shrapnel. What's going on? America is now trying to conquer China. America and France will be invading China and Russia. Oh, it's minus 93 because Qing is in bankruptcy. No, Qing. New front obtained. Get wrecked, my child. Yes. Aha! I'm a tactical genius. Looks like America has taken Guangdong. Oh my god. Oh no. Germany exists. Austria has formed Germany. Oh no, it's, a, it's Uber Deutschland. Uh, Franz Josef von Habsburg. It's a Kaiserreich. No. And it's somehow the fourth great power. The hell are you doing of your industry, my guy? Let's start cleaning up these borders. Let's take Indoor. Goodbye, Indoor. Join the country. Siam is trying to get independence from the British Republic. I think we join them. I'm hoping that they'll try to join. They'll offer me something. But if not, I'll just flat out join them. Let's go. Oh, God. Britain's actually invading me. Oh, no. It's okay. We're fine. They tried a naval invasion. Oh, we're throwing them back into the sea. <gasps> Look, get out of here. This is like the Indian Gallipoli campaign. Look, 25k dead, 50k wounded. Yes, our forces are starting to falter, but we're winning. And Germany has exploded. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's not a good flag. It's 1891 and a certain ideology is in charge. Uh-oh, yes. Siam is independent. 
we have guaranteed the glorious independence of Siam forever and ever. Now join me. <laughs> I, I have only just realized that I own Indian Tenemer Sin. What the hell is this? What is this state? And also, I have these guys as a dominion. Huh? When did that happen? World War II over a treaty port in Peru, Bolivia, and a puppet. Oh my god. Maybe I should start puppeting some South American nations. Russia just embargoed us. We were making almost all of our money from Russian trade. That is so bad. France and America are fighting China, Russia, and Germany over the province of Shandong. Oh my god. Germany attacking with 484 dudes. Oh, half a million people are attacking 100,000 in Alsace. This is frightening. And they're winning massively. And there we go. Free trade, trade route volume, trade route competitiveness, and bureaucracy cost. That does destroy me economically. But it does mean that we can do a lot of trades. Literally just going to be building pretty much everything I can. Remember, we have essentially unlimited workforce in India. Because there's just an unending number of people here. They don't... <laughs> They're never going to disappear. They just love chilling here. We're going to get them free trade and we're going to open up their market. I want Japan in the world. I'm also going to force them to stop having claims on Sakailin and Hokkaido. And America's joined. Why has that happened? Why is America sided? No. No, America. Come on. I'm being island hopped in Japan by the Americans. They're about to invade the crap out of me. That's not cool. That's not cool, dude. So we're fighting America in Africa. We have landed. We just need to fight the Japanese. Oh, they have no troops at all. That's great. I am only doing I am doing a good thing for Japan. Look at this. They have a 6.7 standard of living because they've not been building anything. It's 1898. Come on, dude. Behold, the world's smallest little naval landing right on the beachhead of Chobu. That's fantastic. Finally using the strategic objectives. They're actually doing good. That's cool. America's trying to peace out of this war by offering crap for other people. That's a no, dude. Hey, look at that. They've been forced out anyway. They tried to give me a peace. So the US has been conquered in Gabon. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. And so... We have opened their country. We will stop having it be closed. Open the market. A treaty port. They've revoked their claim. Oh, that's so cool. Look at this place. I want Japan's economy to start excelling. I'm going to start bankrolling. This is why we did it. Look, Japan wants chairs. I will give them chairs. So many chairs. America has just tried to steal Hokkaido from me. I absolutely hate you. We are now fighting... France, because unfortunately France has decided to side with Mewer. If that's how it's going to be, that's how it's going to be. We're going to take back the Madras Treaty Port in Pondicherry. All right, there we go. We killed Mewer, and now we're still fighting the French. All right, we finally kicked out those guys. Some more treaty ports, thank you very much. AI Japan has built two construction sectors and none else. Okay, we have just got Japan into our customs union. Oh, that's perfect. Universal suffrage has officially passed. We... Vote. Everybody votes. Do you hear me? Yes. Just a little bit more GDP. Just a bit stronger. We're so close. Well, it looks like the reverse streamer luck continues, because the lovely ending I had originally recorded, and about an hour of footage, is just gone. So here is where we end up in 1920. The glory of India. We have Persia as a puppet. We've got China and Japan in the Customs Union. We are obscenely strong. We are number one great power. We have over 120 more million GDP than the next greatest country. We've got double their population. We are insane. This has been a fantastic game. Europe and the world in general sort of just exploded. I don't know what's going on over here or why there's an independent Bohemia or Westphalia. I don't really want to look at that. It makes my head hurt and my eyes bleed. Also, please, please don't look at, don't look at this. Let's, it, it's not real. It, it can't hurt you. That's going to be it for me because I think I've achieved all of my wonderful goals. Plus, the game has slowed to a crawl. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave me a comment down below and tell me where I made a stupid mistake because I clearly made a lot of them. And of course, subscribe for a ton more Vicky and EU content content. Lots more coming. Also like the video. It really helps, please. I was Aldra Hill and I will continue to be. Thank you so very much for watching and I hope to see you in the very next video. Bye-bye.